Hi everyone, this is James. Now I want to get this quick video out, so I'm using my phone. So please bear with me. I know it's real messy, but I'll try to make it as clear as possible. So I'm going to start in the area, the blue area. Now if you take a look at it's today's date, the 31st of January 2023. Now that is 9 Shavat 5783 in Hebrew. Now, the Torah calendar believes that it's the 11th month, 8th day, 5783. Okay, now 11 means chaos, 9 means faith. And 31, if you take a look to the left, that circle, that is that means bloodline. And I'll start to the left here. Now, 616 days, that is the time that I received the divine download. Uh, it was May uh, 25th, 2021. Now, I've talked about that many times in my previous videos, so I'm not going to talk about that right now. But if you take a look at 616, if you divide that by 8, the result is 77. But what I found was very interesting, if you take a look at the left side, uh, the 1958. Now, how I got that number is from the Revelation 12 sign. Okay, it's 1956 days. Okay, to this date. Uh, Jan uh, January 31st, 2023, if you divide that by 12, the result is 88. So it's like a pattern going here. And also in the Torah calendar, if you take a look at 11, 8, if you were to multiply 8 times 11, that's 88. And so you basically, you got three eights, that's triple eight, that, that's the Holy Spirit. So I thought that was very interesting. Uh, connections with these dates uh, so I'm, I'm going to continue actually one other thing I wanted to mention too now from Christmas December the 25th 2022 okay that was 38 days now if you divide that by 2 that's 19 and that means faith so if this were indicating the possible departure of the church you know that would probably be an appropriate date you know, of course, no one knows the day of the hour, but I just thought that was very interesting. Now I want to bring you to the red area here. Now today I had some interesting revelations. Um, now and also too, I, I just want to say that a lot of this information that I recorded here was while I was driving at work, um, going 78 miles an hour. You know, I was trying to be being very careful. But I felt inspired, so I didn't want to lose the information. So please don't judge me. I, I know I don't recommend you uh, record information while you're driving. So, you know, I put it on my steering wheel and I would just scribble and, and uh, you know. But anyway, I, I apologize for that. But if you take a look at the red area, um, I'm going to start to the right-hand side here. If you take a look from the Revelation 12 sign to this is this. Uh, February the 2nd, 2023. Okay, that's 1,958 days. Now, in my last video, I mentioned the meanings in Strong's Concordance for for all these dates. Now, you can review that in my previous video. I'll probably recap this at the end of this video also real quickly. But if you take a look, at, again, from the Revelation 12 sign, that's uh, September the 23rd, 2017, to now, that's 1,958 days. Okay, now... If you take a look at, okay, I'm sorry. So one thing I wanted to bring to your attention, 1958 and 618. Okay, that's, you know, it's kind of a pattern. You, you see similar numbers in it. Now, if you take a look, oh, here's the information I was looking for. 1958 divided by 11, that's 178. You know, again, a pattern. Now, one thing I was that was very interesting today, I was kind of thinking about, you know, from December the 25th, from Christmas to now, and I realized it was 40 days. Now, in the meantime, while I was pondering this, uh, a really good uh, brother in Christ, his name's MJ. Uh, I'm not, I can't remember his last name. I'm not sure if he even has it in his comment. But he mentioned that Jesus Christ's ascension you know, he stayed on earth for 40 days, you know, but I was thinking about 40 days in terms of 40 means tribulation. 
So, but that really kind of got me thinking, you know, that might be a confirmation. Maybe I should look into this more. And this is one of the reasons why I'm creating this video. Um, well, it's, it's definitely more information that, uh, you know, I am adding because of that. So I appreciate if you're listening, MJ, thank you for commenting. And thank, I thank others for commenting too, because a lot of inspiration from, you know, the Holy Spirit from believers uh, really helps me create these videos. But uh, let, let me continue. Now, if you take a look at um, the comment, the uh, 2022, uh, what is it, ZTF or ZTC or whatever it is, comment. Now, it's supposed to make its closest approach to Earth. February the 2nd, 2023, so this date, okay? So I thought that was very interesting. That is a great way for God to point out when possibly the tribulation is starting or the rapture, a new dispensation is starting. I don't know. I'm just, it's, you know, it's just conjecture, but I just want to throw that out there. But uh, again, very interesting, you know, the, these numbers, how they work, they're working out. So, Again, from Christmas to this date, that is exactly 40 days. And that means, 40 means tribulation or testing period or trial. So I, that's really, really good results. And um, if you take a look, I, I put in here 316 divided by 4, that's 79. I'm not quite sure why I was trying to figure that out. But anyway, um, 11 Shavat, 5783. That's for February the second, twenty twenty-three, and in the Torah calendar, it's it's actually the eleventh month, tenth day. Now, tenth means completion. All right. So again, a very significant number that ties into this date, and eleven uh, means chaos, disorder. So again, very interesting revelation from these numbers. And I don't think this is a coincidence. I, I really believe that, you know, it is possible that, um, you know, definitely possible. That's how God works through numbers, uh, you know, and is, uh, of course, his written word. But every number that is placed in the Bible, you know, you know, God knew his foreknowledge. He knew that, you know, these numbers would be put there and they would correlate to certain words, certain meanings. So I, I just want to show you this. I just thought that was. Um, really interesting. Now, if you take a look at the bottom here, I, while I was, again, driving, I realized, you know what, that clock I did uh, modeling out the Fibonacci golden spiral, or actually God's fingerprint, his, his spiral, um, his golden sequence. Now, I realized that two is missing. That was the first thing that popped in my head. Then I realized seven and eight is missing. I said, you know what, you know what, you know, you know, finally, you know, this, this is making sense because if you take a look at the date, um, if, if the rapture was going to happen and this date, one thirty first, 2023, well, it's missing the two. Okay. So in the Fibonacci, the, I'm sorry, I'm missing some of the key information. Fibonacci, if you take in, uh, if you put that in uh, Gematria calculator, that's one, two, three. So, you know, I don't, I, I believe that is related, you know, that's, there's one, two, three right there. So, you know, God's fingerprint, you know, if, if, the, if the Lord, God, Jesus Christ, Yeshua is giving me this information, then it would make sense that the God's fingerprint and his word and everything would be entangled into to this, um, this information or these numbers and all these connections. So I just I just wanted to share with that, but it, it, there's more to that I want to show you. Um, I want to go to the clock here. Now, as you see, the two, the I feel the Lord strongly put on my heart not to put two in there, and not put seven and and eight. And I think the the reason he did so is very significant dates was when Kaduri uh, prophecy, which tied in with a lot of things. I was on the one twenty eighth. Uh, 2023 is the anniversary okay it was um i think 17th anniversary i believe and that's uh from the letter when it was released so 17 means victory and then from the date he died which was a, a year uh previous to that and prior to that 
Um, that would have been 16 years. 16 means love. So anyway, sorry, I got a little bit off topic. But anyway, the two is missing. So two, you know, the, you know, 2022, the, you know, was a very significant year, um, I believe, for all these signs and everything was um, really, everything's kind of converging. So the reason why he, he did not put two there really drawed attention to me. And also seven and eight, that was another thing. But also a matrix had referenced a sequence of numbers that, but it was not on this clock. And again, I felt strong in this spirit not to put it there. Well, that makes total sense to me. And I'll show you why. And also, too, I just want to draw attention to nine is really small. Again, that brings attention to it. Why is it small? And then 11 is, is a big and it's very defined. Again, another, you know, another um, something to draw my attention. But uh, anyway, let me, let me show you this now after you see that. Now, if you take a look at where we are, this is in the Torah calendar. Um, this is just a screenshot I used here. January 30th. Okay, just went by. Uh, it's blood testimony. Okay, and if you go from the 28th, again, a significant date, I believe, with the Kadiri Prophecy and all this stuff tying in. If you watch my previous video, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, so you got the 28th, the 28th, 29th, 30th, okay, three days. So there, okay, you got seven. Now the seven's missing and the eight's missing. And here we got, this is, a okay, again, this is 11. The 11th month in the Torah calendar, 7 and 8th day. Those are missing. Okay. The 2. Okay. It's missing in the in the clock. That's That lines up right with the 9. And and again, remember the 9 was a smaller size I mentioned. And then the 7, 8 was missing. And the larger font. Okay, there's 11. So could this tie to 9 and 11? And then you got 9 and 8, which I talked about, 8, eight and 9, I talked about many, many times in my videos. Now, also, I want to mention that 89, that that is, um, I think, what is that? The, I think the 12th or 13th place in the Fibonacci golden sequence or God's fingerprint, uh, which makes sense that he would, he would use those days. Because he want to glorify his creation, prove that, you know, his majesty, his glory, you know, how great our Lord God, Jesus Christ, our Father, Jehovah, Jehovah, the great I am is, you know, show his power through, through this, you know, it's just incredible. But uh, anyway, you got seven and eight missing too. So to me, this is a, a real good alignment. And then you've got two comments, the one that is, it's really been, um, you know, covered in the media. And the other one, a little bit obscure. Um, but anyway, I'm not going to talk about that too much. But it seems like everything is converging. And there is more about two. Like two uh, means unity or division. So again, that makes sense. 2022, then 2023. So 23 means death. Also 22 means light manifesting. So that makes sense. And... Um, because they added a possible month to the calendar, I don't want to get into this debate, but I really believe that it's possible we are still at the tail end of 2022 going into 2023. But again, you know, I don't know that. That's conjecture. But uh, it, it doesn't matter. According, you know, this, this looks like alignment. All this stuff is converging. You know, do I know if the rapture and the tribulation is going to start? now or even next year or the following year i have no idea i really believe it's very 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 soon but you know again i can't i can't say a date you know um but i really feel strongly that it's very soon so um you know i just uh i wanted to get this information out to everybody uh if you if you enjoy this information and you feel led to share it please share it P please like it I really appreciate you, uh, you know, everybody that's helped me in my uh, little ministry here. And uh, I really feel blessed to uh, be able to, to uh, interact with you in the comments. Th you know, thank you, everybody. And, uh, you know, I received this verse today 
Well, on the verse of the day, I want to read this to cl close this out. And you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, hath he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses. Colossians 2, 1, 3. And again, there's the one, two, three. You know, I don't think, again, not a coincidence. You know, God works in mysterious ways. You know, he shows his power. And quicken together, you know, like quicken together and go to the clouds. You know, I don't think I got this verse by accident. But, you know, again, I don't know where we are. Uh, I, I really believe I do. But I can't say that, uh, you know, for sure. But uh, I hope to see you in the clouds very soon. Um, but uh, thank you very much. God bless you all. Oh, and I want to share the gospel one more time. Um, I'm going to just give one Corinthians 15, 3 through 4. Christ died for your sins according to the scriptures, was buried, and on the third day he rose again according to the scriptures. So, as it the, the gospel states, he died for your sins. That's your sins past, present, and future. And you cannot earn your salvation. And I'll give Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. You know, you believe in Jesus Christ's finished work on the cross, his blood sacrifice. Do you believe in his blood sacrifice for atonement of your sins? You know, your sins are washed away and you are saved. And if, if you, I'm not going to give you this verse um to you um if you go to if you look it up ephesians 1 13 through uh, 14 very powerful verse um you know, understand how salvation works it really explains it very well but i'm not going to uh, do that in this video but uh please you know open your bible you know the word is powerful the word is alive you know and the word is jesus christ that came in flesh so I'm going to end this video here. Um, thank you so much. Love you all.